Alyssa Thompson, congratulations on making the World Cup team. What was your reaction when you got the call from Vladko? I was relieved, honestly, and super excited. I, like, my family was around me, so having them there was really nice and just making them proud, and they were crying, so I was just really excited. If you looked at kind of the coverage around the roster selection, people were talking about the bubble choices, that's what everybody focuses on. Not because of your talent, but I think because of your late arrival, a lot of people said, bubble. Did you feel like you were on the bubble? Yeah, I, I mean, I was like just hoping and praying that I would be able to make it. It was pretty clear from the coaching staff that National Women's Soccer League action was gonna be super decisive in terms of who made this team. How did you approach then the weeks and the months starting the NWSL season? Because, you know, you're launching your pro career at that time too, but you also have to, in the very short term, be productive to make this team. Yeah, I feel like I was just playing like myself and trying to be confident in this new environment, which is pretty hard, but um, having my teammates around me, like supporting me and making sure that I felt like I was good enough to be there was really helpful. Um, and I was just really excited that I was playing well. <laughs> For a lot of people, I think you kind of popped onto the radar last fall. You know, you, you make the debut against England at Wembley. What a moment. At that point, what did you think about this World Cup? Did you see it as a reality? I mean, at Wembley, I wasn't really thinking about the World Cup. I was just thinking about how <laughs> I'm playing here right now and being at my first call up was crazy. Um, I feel like it really became a reality for me, like once I started playing in NWSL games and showing that I was good enough to be there um, and then seeing if the coaching staff would think that I would be good enough to play on the full team. People would assume the jump from high school to pro would would cost a player a lot more than it did you. Why, why hasn't it seemed to, to be that much of a struggle? I feel like like on the field or off the field? Or... On the field. I mean, you, you stepped right into a professional level where a lot of players will go through years and years of college and, and other training, and you rocked right up and, and looked like you belong. Why? Um, I feel like, like during preseason, a lot of my teammates helped me to that, and I think I got even better during um, that time. And also just being able to be with a lot of veterans on the team, showing me like how to stay confident in myself and like just playing how I play. I think playing with the boys helped me a lot um, to get to where I am and um, helped me to be at that level um, when I got into the game. You took a big decision not to go to college. Do you think if you'd have gone to college, you'd be on this roster? I don't know, because I feel like there would be no like, way for people to see me play or for people to, or for the coaches to see um, how like, good I am, I mm -hmm. guess. What went into that decision? It was a really hard decision because I really was aiming for Stanford and wanting to go there. It has always been a dream of mine to play with my sister there and um, just go to Stanford for education too. Um, they're just such an amazing school. Right now I thought the best decision like for me soccer wise to, was to go pro because um, it just that will make me only better and I people will be able to see like my talent more and it will be shown. It's one thing to break through at club level, one thing to break through at Angel City. It's another thing to break through and be noticed at this level. What's been the key for you to make that jump at the senior international level? Staying true to myself and being able to be confident in what I do and continuing to um, want to be better and be um, the best player that I can be. I always strive for greatness, so being able to like continue to grow as, like, as a player and um, like playing games against like the best women in the world has really helped me too. What's it like being the the young player on this team, so much better and experienced players I'm sure you've looked up to for, for years, players like Alex Morgan, Megan Rapino, just to name a few. What's it like being in the dressing room, being a part of this now at your age? It's really wild, honestly. Like, uh, I still can't believe it sometimes. Uh, I've looked up to these players for so long, so I do, like, it's still super crazy to me that I'm here um, and that I'm like a part of their team and I'm, I'm their teammate. <laughs> your first game is against England. What were your first training sessions like though? Because I'm imagining that's the real welcome to the national team moment. They were definitely intense. Everyone was there to win and everyone's there super competitive. Envi it's a super competi competitive environment. And um, yeah, I, I haven't experienced anything like it. So being there was definitely like a wake up call, like you're here, but um, I feel like I did as best I could. 
What are the veterans like? What are the advi what's the advice that they're giving you? What are they telling you ahead of a World Cup? Um, the veterans are amazing, honestly. I could ask them anything and they'll be there to give me an answer. Uh, I asked a bunch of people like how to pack for two months because I do not know how to do that and like what I should expect at a World Cup and mostly their messages are like every World Cup's different. It's something you'll never experience before and each one is very different so just come in ready and you'll be great. What did they tell you to pack? They said pack for what I usually would bring to it, like a national team camp, but like make sure you have like extra of everything and something to do like reading. What do you see as your role in this team? I feel like my role is just to be the best teammate that I can be and um, be able to help my team in any way that I can. I'm willing to play any role that I can to help this team win. There's so many good, young, wide attacking players on this team, when you when you go through a training session, when you look around, how dangerous do you think this attack can be? Uh, very dangerous. I think everyone on, on the attack is really good and we create chances for ourselves and for other people. So playing, like seeing them train and stuff like that has been really eye-opening because they are just such amazing players. So there's obviously pressure on you individually, but from a collective standpoint, What's the weight of expectation with this team that is now back-to-back -back World Cup champions? I feel like there's definitely pressure, but in any World Cup there will be pressure. Um, but I think we're taking this um, as a new World Cup and we like aren't defending anything, we're attacking it. So we are ready to play anyone, and but like we are focusing on Vietnam right now, but we are ready.